Good afternoon, Fancy Farm. Many thanks to St. Jerome's for putting on this wonderful picnic and to Mark Wilson and the picnic committee for having the great community of Fancy Farm embrace the, the Super Bowl of Kentucky politics once again. It's an honor to be back, especially at a time when Kentucky Republicans are leading America and keeping their promises. I'm incredibly proud of Leader McConnell, Senator Paul, our strong conservative leaders in Congress and in Frankfurt. They are getting the job done. And for the first time ever, we have a conservative trifecta at our state capitol with a Republican governor, a Republican state senate president, and a Republican speaker of the House, Speaker Jeff Hoover. Their common sense conservative agenda has resulted in record-breaking investment, creating thousands of jobs, and setting our state onto a new course. Promises made, promises kept. As our Ag Commissioner, I've been working hard to deliver promises for you, as promised. I launched the first ever hunger initiative to fight the unfortunate reality that one in six Kentuckians suffer from, food insecurity. I promise to do something about it by bringing the private sector and our farm community together to find solutions. Just last month, I helped secure a donation to purchase more than 120 refrigerators for our local food pantries to benefit all Kentucky food pantries across the state and the farmers who donate food. The freezers are being delivered this month across our state, including right here in Graves County. Promises made, promises kept. We learned that many restaurants, grocery stores, and farmers wanted to donate leftover food to the hungry, but the fear of lawsuits was a barrier to generosity. I said I would do something about it, and with the support of your House leaders and Speaker Hoover, we passed a bill to provide legal immunity to food donors, giving Kentucky the strongest donation law in our nation. And as a result, more food than ever is being donated, and fewer Kentucky families are going hungry. Promises made, promises kept. I said it would take industrial hemp to the next level. We have tripled the number of planted acres if we increase the number of hemp processors to new heights. Kentucky is leading the nation in the race to become the epicenter of the hemp industry with our administration and the Comer administration, just like we used to be when my great-grandfather grew hemp for World War II. Promises made, promises kept. I said that we would do more with less, and in my first year and a half, we have implemented four budget cuts, returning taxpayer dollars back to the state coffers. Promises made, promises kept. And we're working on free trade. Because of the Trump administration, we're able to export Kentucky Proud Beef to China for the first time in 13 years, putting more money into the pockets of our family farmers. Promises made, promises kept. You will soon see my administration fighting for international trade that works for Kentucky, not the other way around. We anticipate a major announcement in the coming weeks concerning a signature agricultural industry, industry that will benefit all of Kentucky. So stay tuned. I look forward to growing more solutions for Kentucky during the rest of this term and then ask you again for your vote in 2019. Now. Kentucky is finally winning again. We cannot slow down this progress because it's the GOP that is delivering on its promises. Now, in a rare move at Fancy Farm, I'd like to reach across the aisle and praise a Democratic friend of mine. It has been an honor to work with your former Graves County Field State Representative and our Department of Agriculture Field Rep, Fred Nesler. Fred, come up here, buddy. Fred announced his retirement after a lifetime of public service, and I want to bestow upon you the highest agricultural honor of the land, something more rare than a Kentucky colonel, an honorary commissioner of agriculture for a job well dealt. Well done, Fred. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Please join me in saying thank you to your hometown guy, Fred Nessler. And remember, if you like to buy, buy Kentucky Proud. If you like to eat, thank a Kentucky farmer. Thank you very much.